Hai, Assalamualaikum. Saya Nona Ejen Rumah. Hai, uh, I am here Ashraf. Okey, dan Nona suka anak-anak tahu dan melibatkan diri dalam kerja saya seharian. Ingatlah dulu when you are much smaller, mama always bring you and abang-abang along for viewings. You remember or not? Yes. Ah, uh, what do you think I do when I conduct viewings? You um talk with them. Okay. You tell them like about the house and you will take pic, uh, video and pictures about ah, the house. Okay, so every time when I conduct a viewing, basically I will bring a buyer to my seller's house and then I will show the buyer the unit that I'm selling for my sellers and to convince them to buy the unit. So when I'm conducting my viewings, usually you and Abang-Abang will be where? At the playground. At the playground. So that's why my children are playground experts. <laughs> okay, because they always follow me around for viewings. Okay, so um, that is really um, how I include my children into my job as a property agent. So today we are going to answer property related questions. Okay, so alam so alam perumahan anda yang saya terima daripada Instagram, daripada Facebook, daripada TikTok. Jadi kita akan cuba untuk menjawab soalan soalan perumahan anda. Ashraf mungkin boleh bacakan soalannya. Okay. Saya dan isteri dah ambil HDB loan dua kali. Eh, sejak bila berkahwin? <laughs> <laughs> Okey, faham, faham, faham. Ah, silakan terus. Lanjut. Eh. Bila Ashraf dah kahwin? <laughs> Baik, saya. Okeylah, soalannya macam aku. Rau je lah, tak boleh berkahwin. Saya. <laughs> Okey, silakan Encik Ashraf. Soalannya. Okey, okay. okay. Saya dan isteri dah ambil HDB loan dua kali. Rumah sekarang lima bilik masih ada hutang HDB. Kami belum lima puluh lima tahun. Boleh tak kita upgrade ke rumah private? Hmm. So when they say that they want to upgrade to rumah private, what do you think is the kind of house that they wish to live in? I think they they are trying to say that. The, they want to live in a house, like in a like in a one whole house, not an apartment. Hmm, landed, mungkin eh? Yeah, okay, landed. Nah, uh, okay. So what I understand from this question is they have already taken two HDB loans. Do you know what is a HDB loan? Uh, no. No. Basically, when you buy a HDB flat, usually we must take a loan from HDB because we don't have like five hundred thousand in our bank no, account, right? Yeah. So they will take a loan and then they will have to pay it within twenty five years. So what happened with this client is they have already taken two HDB loans. Dan semua rakyat Singapura hanya boleh ambil HDB loan dua kali seumur hidup. If they were to upgrade to a private property, they cannot take a HDB loan, but they must go for a bank loan. So in this situation, kalau you tanya Nona, boleh kerana apa anda belum berusia 55 tahun tetapi Nona harus kira dahulu berapa kelayakan hutang anda. Basically, it means based on your income, your wife and the husband, how much loan can the bank give you to actually purchase a private property plus your CPF monies and also the cash proceeds from the sale of the house. And we also need to look into the monthly repayment of the condo or the land that you intend to buy. So kita kena duduk buat kira-kira dulu. Bila kita dah buat kira-kira, kalau boleh rumah seterusnya haruslah anda tinggal sekurang-kurangnya 7 hingga 10 tahun sebelum ada pulangannya. So a lot of calculations needs to go inside this situation before we can decide whether boleh ke tidak. Eh? Nanti bila Ashraf dah besar, dah kahwin, eh? agak-agaknya Ashraf nak tinggal rumah macam mana? Uh, rumah besar. Masya Allah. Berapa tingkat agaknya? Lima. Lima, huh? eh. Nak kena pasang lip lah. Uh-uh. <laughs> Ini Mama datang nak naik tangga, penat. Yeah. <laughs> Mama doakan Ashraf, eh. Uh, terima kasih lah Ok, jadi bagi anda yang mungkin ingin upgrade ke rumah private Boleh saja, let's look into your calculations Let's do your loan eligibility and also your sustainability To ensure that this upgrade will be a comfortable one for you and your family Your family Your family <laughs>